I'm Andrew Edwards, and you're watching Gear Live. We're at an all-time low when it comes to the cost of flash storage, bringing pricing on the latest SSDs into the affordable realm. If you've been shopping for SSDs, you've likely run into both TLC and the newer QLC flash storage. In this video, I go over both types of storage and compare them in real world scenarios in order to figure out which is the better value. What is going on tech squad? Andrew Edwards here, editor in chief of gearlive.com. And as I mentioned today, we are talking about SSD flash storage and specifically the differences between TLC flash storage and the newer QLC flash storage. Typically the newer a technology is, the better it is across the board when comparing against older technologies within the same category. But in the case of TLC versus QLC, there are some caveats that should be considered when you're making a purchasing decision. Now, before we jump in, I wanna give a big shout out to Western Digital for providing the test drives and for sponsoring this video. So why would you wanna use flash storage SSDs instead of a traditional hard disk drive? Well, the main answer in one word is speed. And if you wanna add a second word to that, it would be reliability. SSD SATA drives are several times faster than your typical 7200 RPM hard disk drive counterpart. They used to be prohibitively expensive, but prices have come down so much, especially over the last year, that the benefits of flash storage are now well within reach for the average consumer. Now, if you've done any research on SSDs recently, you've probably seen that the newest flavor is called QLC. So first to give you a quick explanation, if you're not sure what these acronyms mean, there are four types of flash storage available currently. You've got SLC, MLC, TLC, and the newer QLC. Those letters stand for single, multi, triple, and quad, and it refers to how many bits can be stored per cell in the flash storage. So SLC was the initial version of flash storage and it could store one bit per cell. MLC brought with it a 100% increase, allowing the drives to store two bits of information per cell. TLC, which stands for triple, allows for three bits of information per cell. And as you've guessed, quad obviously allows for four bits of information to be stored per cell. So the benefit as this technology has progressed is that the more bits you can store per cell, the more storage capacity you get out of the same physically sized drive with a fixed number of cells. Now on the surface, when you hear this, it probably makes it seem like QLC, the newest version, would be the best in all scenarios. You're able to store four bits of information per cell. However, one thing about flash storage is constantly reading and writing to the same cell results in wear and tear on a drive and ultimately that's what leads to flash storage failing over time. So since QLC packs four bits per cell, each cell will likely be accessed more often resulting in more wear and tear. This means the drive will wear out quicker and have a shorter lifespan than something like TLC which only has three bits per cell. In addition, more bits per cell means performance in terms of speed is gonna take a hit because there are more voltage states that need to be checked as well. Now that's getting a little too deep inside and I wanna keep this at a level that the average consumer can understand. Just know that QLC, while being the cheaper option, may not be the best option in terms of reliability over time. Now, there are some other differences as well as it pertains to performance. And again, as I mentioned, I wanted this video to apply to the average consumer. So if you're all about the PC master race and you've built out your system, this one may not apply to you, but if you're the average consumer looking for an upgrade and you're making the choice between TLC and QLC, here are some real world tests that I was able to perform showing you the differences between the two. First things first, the two drives I'm testing are a Western Digital WD Blue 3D TLC SATA SSD and a Samsung 860 QVO QLC SATA SSD. To keep things equal, both these drives are one terabyte in size. As far as pricing goes, the Western Digital TLC drive costs $115 and the Samsung QLC drive costs $100. Both drives were filled to 70% capacity, each with roughly 300 gigabytes of free space left on them when performing all these tests, again, in order to emulate a real world scenario. What I mean by real world is tasks that typically almost anyone would need to do in a general line of work. So things like 
copying files, moving files from one drive to another, duplicating files, unzipping files, and other computer tasks that might apply to a gamer or a videographer, a digital artist, graphic designer, or even a content creator like myself. So here's a look at some of the test results that I was able to get when testing out these two drives. Again, TLC versus the newer QLC. Oh, and by the way, before I get into the tests and the test results, first, let me just let you know the specs of the system that I was using. The computer had a quad core Intel Core i7-6700, eight gigabytes of RAM, was using onboard Intel HD graphics, and I was using Windows 10 Pro 64-bit as the operating system. So it's the exact same system used to test both drives. First, I duplicated a 12 gigabyte zip file on each drive to see how long it would take for that duplication to occur. On the TLC drive, it took one minute and 13 seconds to complete, while using the newer QLC tech took three minutes and 11 seconds to complete. Now that was with using the SSD as the primary drive in the system. Now I thought this was interesting, so I tried it again with a 26 gigabyte file, and then I saw something interesting. The QLC drive actually started out fast and then started to creep down and throttle down in speed, almost to the speed of a typical hard disk drive. I also tried transferring a larger 60 gigabyte video project from an external USB 3.0 flash drive to both the TLC and QLC drive. And this actually had a huge difference that I did not expect. The TLC drive took four minutes and 53 seconds to complete the process, while the QLC drive took eight minutes and 21 seconds. It took almost twice as long for the QLC drive to finish the exact same process. This is a massive difference, especially when you think and when you're under the impression that you're buying newer technology, and especially with an SSD, where speed is the main factor that people believe they're gaining. But as you can see, newer doesn't always mean better in every category. Up next, I unzipped that 12 gigabyte file that I mentioned earlier on each drive. It took the TLC drive two minutes and 53 seconds to complete the unzipping process, while the QLC drive took four minutes and 48 seconds to accomplish the same task. So at this point, I feel pretty confident in saying that moving files around, copying files, duplicating files, unzipping files, etc., whether it's everything on the drive or from a secondary or external drive to the SSD, the TLC drive performed much, much better in the current state that the two drives are in, which is they are drives that are partially filled but still have a good amount of free space left on them. Next up, I wanted to try out something that would emulate real work. Besides just copying files and moving them around, what about actually opening up a file and saving a file? So I opened up a four gigabyte Photoshop file, a PSD image file. Four gigs is a pretty good sized Photoshop file. The TLC drive from Western Digital opened that file in 14 seconds in Photoshop, while the QLC drive was about 33% slower, opening that same file in 21 seconds. But saving that file was the even bigger eye opener. Opening the file means the system is reading the file from the SSD. Saving the file means the system is writing back to the SSD. So not just reading, but writing the file onto the drive. Saving that exact same four gigabyte Photoshop file on the Western Digital TLC drive took 16 seconds. So 14 seconds to open it, 16 seconds to save it and write it back to the drive. So not that big of a difference, it was a difference of two seconds. However, the QLC drive took 53 seconds to save that same four gigabyte Photoshop file. 21 seconds to open it, 53 seconds to save it. That's almost four times as long as the TLC drive took to save the file. This is a massive difference and shows you how write speeds can be affected when you're comparing the differences between TLC and QLC SSD technology. So what is the point of this video? What is this video, what is this information trying to convey? Well, the main point is this. While QLC may be cheaper and newer than TLC, which is great at first glance, cheaper and newer is something that is traditionally attractive, especially when it comes to tech. But the reasons that make QLC cheaper are the same reasons that also make it slower and give it a shorter lifespan. So when you're doing your shopping, the most important thing to consider is how do you plan on using your SSD drive. If you're using it to store things like your operating system, your music library, maybe your Steam games, and you wanna save more money 
by buying QLC, I think you'd be totally fine in that scenario. But if you're doing real work, saving files a lot, moving files around, opening and saving large projects, whether it's in Photoshop or Adobe Premiere, Final Cut Pro, 3D modeling, or even if you're a developer opening up huge coding files, you should seriously consider sticking to TLC-based storage for now. By the way, if you wanna pick up that TLC drive that I was using in this video, I will leave a link down in the description below. By the way, speaking of computers and new tech, Wi-Fi 6 has arrived. It is here. It is the next generation of Wi-Fi. If you are looking to improve your connection speeds in your home, check out the video I did on the new Nighthawk AX8 Wi-Fi 6 router. I will leave a link in the description as well as a card up here in case your Wi-Fi is outdated and needs an upgrade. Until next time, thank you so much for watching, guys. Any questions about TLC and QLC SSDs, leave them in the comments below. I will meet you there for further discussion. Thank you so much for watching. As always, guys, I appreciate your support. I'm Andrew Webers, and I will catch you in the next video.